Leon Jennings here from Asian Persuasion MMA. I'm here with the one atom weight kickboxing champion, Janet Todd, who's going to be competing in Muay Thai against Alma Junico this Friday night. Janet, how are you? How's, how's, how's the things in this crazy world right now? <laughs> you know, um, I'm super excited to be back in Singapore. And man, do they have this thing down. Like, I feel... I feel really fortunate to be part of one championship in the way they look out for us, even through the pandemic and to be able to fight through this pandemic is, is an amazing opportunity. I've been, I've been waiting for this. <laughs> how, how was the trip to Singapore and how, how was the fight week going so far with the quarantine and the restrictions? Um, so the flight was pretty empty, which was nice. I got a whole row to myself so I got to spread out and, and sleep on our uh 17 hour flight <laughs> um and then they're taking really good precautions with us um obviously we're kind of self-isolated in our room which is which sounds which doesn't sound as much fun but you know it it gives me time to really ground myself and you know get to enjoy the Singapore skyline and you know, get myself focused and and rest, which is what you need before a fight. So if we go back one year or just over one year, one uh, uh, facing stunt fair tax, king of the jungle. I guess you thought your whole year was going to be amazing. You started off the year perfectly, <laughs> and then the world went crazy. How was your twenty twenty <laughs> in the end? You know, I'd like to think of it as uh, my year of development. You know, usually I have fights, you know, one fight after another. But since I didn't have that opportunity last year, you know, we really worked on adding new things to my tool set. Um, so I'd, I'd say it was a year of, year of growth and development. And then now, you know, this year it's time to lay it out and see how I do. <laughs> Guys, what were some of the positives you could take from the crazy 2020? Um, you know, it, it really made me reflect on, on myself a lot, obviously. <laughs> uh, you know, we weren't able to see friends or anything, so there's a lot of time spent with, with yourself and your family. <laughs> and it just made me feel really, really thankful for what I have. Um, I know sometimes it's hard to see that, when you're going through a pandemic, but man, I, I have my health, I have my family, I have Muay Thai and kickboxing, which, you know, continually inspires me to become even better. So it's just, it just makes me feel thankful for what I have. Why come but, I mean, it, I mean, it, you have to kind of remind yourself of that, right? Because sometimes when you're going through that pandemic and you feel like things are taken away from you, you're like, oh man, what do I have? But man, you, I have a lot and I need to be thankful for that. Well, I think there's so many negatives come out of the last year, <laughs> but also there's a lot of positives and people I think will take the positives and appreciate things, and not take things for granted once things go, do go, hopefully then eventually they go back to normal. Yeah, yeah. I mean, hugging people, <laughs> didn't realize how much you missed that. <laughs> or having just a nice, hang, you know, just hanging out with your friends. It's it's crazy how much we took that for granted, that that personal connection in, like, in person. But the thing is, I think without that, we were able to find ways to connect through, you know, virtually through Zoom, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> through social media. So it, it almost also brought the world together because we were in it together. And we have these sort of, you know, internet platforms to come together. So it was kind of, it was cool to see that too. Definitely. Now you're coming back, like I said, in Muay Thai. Why come back and take a Muay Thai bout rather than defend your kickboxing title? Um, well, I don't know if people know this, but I actually started in Muay Thai first. So Muay Thai has always been near and dear to my heart. And obviously that was the first I fought for the Muay Thai uh, world title. My The first time, you know, I fought for one. So it's something that I've always dreamed of having as well as the kickboxing belt. And, you know, I'll, I'll do both. <laughs> I want to, I want to be a champion of both. 
just like a uh, just like stamp was. Well, I knew you wanted to do both. I was just interested why the first you haven't bought for a year. I guess you had two options: defend the kickboxing or or start that quest to win that second belt. I guess the second belt's a bit more of a, a bit more luring. Yeah, plus you get those uh, elbows too. You get more <laughs> weapons to play with, right? <laughs> What are your th you're obviously facing at Alma Juniku. What are your thoughts on her as, a, as an opponent? Yeah, I'm actually really excited to be fighting Alma. Um, obviously, I noticed her since she joined our, our weight class, and she's a very talented and technical person. So I thought, you know, I think it's a great challenge for me to go up against her. So, yeah, we're really looking forward to it. What are your thoughts on her two previous performances? Obviously, she had that fight with Stack, which was very close. And then a second fight, she didn't look quite the same as I've heard. There's, she's really motivated and to be back in the gym. So what were your thoughts on them two previous performances? I think we're both very motivated after <laughs> not fighting for a year. Um, but, you know, I, I think she, like I said before, she has good technique and she's got a strong right hand and, and right kick. And she's got a good Muay Thai style that, you know, is it's going to be fun to, to play with <laughs> well you mentioned your last fight your last fight was actually the last fight fight card before one had their little five month window of no cards and it was the first one in an empty stadium we've kind of gone almost full circle here how much how familiar <laughs> was it going to feel do you think come friday night knowing that your last fight which was so successful which won you the belt it's going to be that same feeling again uh you know, I, I think I said this last year, but uh, uh, having a closed stadium wasn't something, or not having that many people in the stadium isn't something new for me. <laughs> I fought in amateur shows where I'm like one of the last fights and there were barely anybody in the audience. So, I mean, I, I love coming back to Singapore. Um, obviously, it was where I had my first fight. It was where I got my first world title belt. It, it's my home, so I guess it's my second home, right? <laughs> What are your thoughts on the atom weight Muay Thai and kickboxing division at the moment? It's, I mean, both of them are very exciting. Obviously, you're the, the queen of one of them and hope to be the queen of the other. Oh, man, it is stacked. <laughs> um, it's, it's great to be part of such a good weight class to be challenged that way. So I think we got a lot of good, good athletes in our weight class. So. Cool. And obviously, now your friend, teammate, Jackie Bunton, she's finally had her debut. How, how exciting was it to see her make her debut and finally get her, her first fight? I'm just glad the world finally got to see Jackie Bunton. <laughs> I know her. Yeah. I mean, she's always, you know, been my training partner and always pushed me to be better. And man, she's got a slick style that that is hard to mimic. And it was awesome to be able to be part of her journey and be part of this experience you know with her to see her grow and become a one championship athlete and make her debut so it was really exciting and a proud like sister moment <laughs> i think <laughs> how does your fight go down friday night well i know it's going to be fireworks that's for sure uh almost a tough girl so i know i'm going to have to bring it and i know she's going to too so I, it'll be an exciting bout. Lastly, a perfect 2021. How would that play out for you? <laughs> perfect 2021. Well, like I said, I got my I got my eye on that Muay Thai belt, so that would be a perfect way to close it. I should quit that point. Yeah, what were your thoughts on Lucy Rodriguez uh, beating Stan Fairtax? What were your thoughts on her and that fight? Oh, she played that game very well. Uh, very good left kicks to the body. Uh, I thought she had really good timing, very composed. Even in her last round where she switched up her stance was uh, creative. I liked it. It was a, it was a well-deserved win. Brilliant. Well, can't wait to Friday. Good luck. Thank Thanks you. Of course. It's too bad I can't see you in person. I'm used to seeing you in person. <laughs> I know. Hopefully next time, fingers crossed, when the world finally goes back to normal, I can leave my apartment. <laughs> Actually, yeah. I hope so too. Right. 
Well, good luck Friday. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.